فيها يا سبيها البني ده مهلوق بشي قاودي الجميل تمدواره ولارتي يا بارت انتقرالي من دين زبوهية لارتي يا هول انت البني ده ملفهم وابريتزا تالنتي تجفيه الهيلا لي اسبريم روغو ويأسا موه راين الجميل تالهيا بلارتي فيكتور كولباك ارتيستا فاما انترناسيونالي انزل يا اسمانا المالتين لارتي تيو فوريا لي ادي ابحالسا في الموزيو ناسيونالي تالارتي ويريا لي ففتي جراني تهرا ستكون الوري الجرمانيا Victor, you have introduced us to the silver point technique through the paintings, the drawings that you are showing at the Museum of Fine Arts in Valletta. Tell us about the silver point technique. It goes back to the Renaissance. Tell us about its history. I think it's even before the Renaissance. Uh, the painters of that time, they tried anything to, to make the drawing beautiful. And uh, they tried all metals and uh, uh, gold included in this, in this research. Unfortunately, gold uh, leaves the traces of a yellow metal, which will never oxidize, it will always stay yellow. They are very boring, I tried this technique, but it's a just yellow drawing. Then they tried lead, then they tried uh, copper, and, uh, but these uh, metal points, they oxidize and they turn completely black. There is no transparency. They are maybe as close as possible to our modern technique, uh, pencil and graphite. And then they uh, tried uh, this uh, silver point, which is a pure metal. Uh, they made uh, the instrument, which I found in one book about that, that particular time. It was a piece of the um, silver which was very, very thin on white side and very white on another one. It was of this size, about maybe 10, 12 centimeters. So when they wanted to make something very, very particular, very precise, they turn it on the, on the sharp side. And uh, if it was uh, some, some kind of a background, they, used, they turned this instrument and they used the other side of the program. I do not use this, this uh, uh, instrument because I, I want to go to, to these precise details uh, through the whole drawing. So were all the artists in, uh, during the Renaissance using this kind of technique? Yes, uh, all famous artists used this technique. Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael. Uh, we have uh, one technique which I found uh, in one um, uh, antique shop in Italy was something even more complicated than that. It was the uh, silver um, drawing over gold drawing. But from what I understood, it was so complicated technique because they had to keep a tiny small brush on their mouths and they had to move at the same time the brush and the silver point. So they glued the, some kind of a it was some kind of a very strange physical procedure which glued the silver point line to the, to the old. They are, it is, it is pure beauty. But I suppose that the evaporation of this uh, asset was very dangerous for the, for the health. So this technique completely disappeared. But there are maybe two, three drawings in the world made in this technique. Victor Kulbak wara l-arti tijaw f-madwar 22 wirja personali f-galleriji u muzawijiet f-l-Amerika, il-Japun u l-Europa. Bara teknika ta' silver point li ġeja minn żmien ir-Rinaxximent, Viktor Kulbak pitter numru sabiħ ta' portraits biżżejt. 
Jbiatanis prominenti me madwar id-dinja. Complicated is, in fact, the silver point technique which you use in your drawings. It is. It is not very complicated technique. It's. It's almost the same uh, procedure as if you used the, the pencil. But it's instead of a graphite, it's a silver which is deposited on the on the on the surface. Uh, the difficulty of this technique is that you cannot. If you made a mistake, you cannot erase it. You can. You have to start everything from the beginning. Uh, and preparation of the paper takes a lot of time. So this, this uh, um, silver point, if you use it on, on the non-prepared paper, you just ruin it. There, there is no traces, I, I can show it to you. On this size, this paper not prepared, you see, and if I make the line, there is nothing, there is no traces. And if it's thinner, it will just make a hole in it, because it is a very hard metal, it is it's a really, really, very, very strong uh, metal. It's a, it's a pure silver, it's 96% of the silver. I use the marble powder, marble dust, mm -hmm. which is very, very thin, which I mix with the rabbit skin glue. Unfortunately, the rabbit skin glue, I cannot replace it. It's, it's, it is the fact, unfortunately. So, uh, it's reinforced the paper, and now, if you can see, if I make a line, there is a line on it. And this line is made with the tiny small particles of the silver, which is deposited on the surface. Mm -hmm. So this preparation is working as a reinforcement of the paper, and at the same time as a sandpaper, which is scratching the tiny small particles, because it's not completely smooth. Mm -hmm. So, so it, it, you see? Now, you can obtain with this technique very strong line, very dark from the beginning. I mean, push it very strongly and make a black line. But this is not silver point technique like they used it in the Renaissance time. Why? Because the, the beauty of this technique is in transparencies. So what did they do? Uh, 